set the stratigraphy because of that grading that the form is. So ODP, like 204, 1251C. Smear slide, no way. <laughs> We make smear slides of marine sediments because it's a chance for us to examine the very small grain size particles with some confidence in terms of their composition. And once we see the optical properties of various constituents, we know for certain what kinds of materials those are and we can then interpret from what environment those materials were produced and how the composition of those materials varies through time tells us how the environment of the ocean has changed through time. So these take a double dose of optical adhesive, okay? You can do it. Just set it on top there, and you'll notice that just with gravity, the weight of the cover slip pushes down. Which we knew when we made it. We said we were worried about So the first step to making a smear slide is deciding what exactly you want to look at. So for example, in this core, we see a color change and a texture change across a sharp boundary. So we might want to take a smear slide on either side to determine the composition. For step two, you take your labeled slide and a toothpick and you collect sediment from the horizon that you're interested in. Now that you have the sediment on your slide, you dilute it with water and disperse it with a toothpick so it's really even on your slide. After we've dispersed the sample on the slide, we have to dry off the water. So we use a hot plate, place the slide on the hot plate, close it, and come back when it's dry. Once the slide is dry, secure a cover slip with optical adhesive. place under a UV light to cure. You can take your smear slide and your microscope to examine the sedimentary particle feature. Our job on the ship is really to track the variation preserved in the sedimentary record. And that allows all of us to understand how complete the record might be, how discontinuous it might be, how uniform it might be in its composition, whether or not there are specific instantaneous events preserved in the record. And by doing that, that informs the whole science party about the next questions we can ask from that sedimentary record. and informs the post-cruise research that happens a month after the cruise, a year, five years, ten years after the cruise. And that's in part why preserving these records in archives like the repository here are so important because they're available for people to re-examine year after year as new ideas come, as new questions become important.